next train out of this town, out of your sight, out of your arms, out of your way.
I just don't believe it, that's all. Uh, wait, 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 let me let me check again. Nope. There it is, and I still don't believe it. No, Glenn, I am becoming infuriated. What don't you believe? I don't believe that the image I see in here, that beautiful, curvaceous, enticing model, has just accepted my proposal of marriage. I just don't believe it. I merely said I'd think about it. Hold it. That's exactly the expression I want. A smug woman. Oh, you beast. Is that all? Ah, one more for good measure. There. Now, mechanically, those shots were of sheer perfection. So if they don't make next month's cover of Universal Magazine, it's got to be your fault. And I'll have to get another model. <laughs> Nothing personal, you understand. Promises, promises. That's right. Telegram came up to the uh, office for you. Oh, thank you. Remarkable woman, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Hard to believe she's really my mother. <laughs> These uh, preservation techniques today are really something, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. God, I'm not the only one who finds you provocative. <laughs> proves I'm not a sex fiend. Oh, it proves that all men are sex fiends. You make me furious. What does it say? My uh, Uncle Thomas has just passed away. Oh, Glenn, I'm sorry. Oh, it's all right, baby. It's not like it was uh, anything tragic. I mean, he was uh, 108. Oh. It's funny, though. He always used to tell the family that he'd never go unless he could take all his money with him. <laughs> and he was such a mean old coot, you know, we actually believed him. Maybe he found a way. Yeah, well, there are some things he couldn't take. It seems incredible, Liz, but uh, I think we have inherited a castle. Castle? <laughs> Crazy old Uncle Thomas. I can use the castle as a studio. Just think of the layouts we can do for Universal now. Mm. I, I wonder if anybody lives there. I don't know. I think so. It has been rented by a couple by the name of Townsend, I know, for a long time. <laughs> they must be as old as Uncle Thomas by now. Oh, well, we'll find out for sure when we get there. Mm, too bad about the nice old couple. Just have to move. Yeah. You know, Charles, this could be a great inconvenience. Rather. Moving can be such a bore, especially for people like us. Oh, this place has been so perfect for us this last 60 years. Has it been that long? Oh, time goes by quickly. But cheer up, the new owners might give us a new lease. And who knows, they might even sell. That's very likely. With the health problem, these old castles are a drug on the market. But we must be careful when Mr... Uh, Cannon drops in on us. Yes. But then maybe the shock will kill him. And that would eliminate all our problems. Now that's a good idea. But there might be some complications. So let's try and buy first, huh? Where is that butler? Downstairs, I suppose. Your 
had the misfortune of encountering Mango. Now you must remain here as our guest. Let me go, please. What are you going to do to me? Right now, I'm going to take a sample of your blood. What? Your blood. rather apprehensive tonight. Because of Johnny? Yes, I've arranged for his release. I shall be happy to see him again. Things are never quite the same when he's away. I'll have to be more firm with him. You know, he's only a problem when the damn moon is full. You're nightly stimulant, Countess. Thank you, George. Count? I think you will enjoy this vintage. Mmm, delicious. I've never had it before. It's new. Mango brought in a young girl tonight. The type double O positive, very rare. Young girl? Extremely young and beautiful. Perhaps even pure. That's too much to ask. Where did Mango find her? It seems she wandered onto our property after her car broke down. Would anyone trace her here? No, she was alone. I don't trust that stupid oaf. Mark my words, one day he's going to lead the police right here. I assure you, I shall find time to dispose of our guests before the police find them. George, we have the utmost confidence in you. Mmm, delicious. Just like old times, when Johnny was here. Oh, by the way, George, we have arranged for Johnny's release. He should be here sometimes tomorrow. Tell the count. If I don't get that five thousand in my bank account, with don't worry, Frank. You talk to Count Thompson. It'll be there. If it isn't, you tell the count I'll have cops swarming all over that Falcon Rock Castle. Believe me, five thousand dollars is a small amount to get out of this place. It'll be a nice retirement fund for you. Yeah, I know, Johnny. That's why I'm doing this at all. But just keep in mind, I can blow the whistle on them any time. I'll remember, Frank. But please hurry. Give me the key. Wait, Johnny. Special way to unlock this lock, or else the alarm goes off. Okay, now for the bad part. Remember what I told you. Just a short, firm, but smooth stroke. Okay? I really wish this part wasn't necessary, Frank. Look, Johnny, don't worry. 5,000 bucks will buy a lot of aspirin. Good luck, buddy. Thanks. Wild and carefree. Not at all like we were at his age. That would be uh, three centuries ago. We have been fortunate in finding loyal and devoted servants. Friends like yourself. 
You save me from the hangman's noose. I shall always be grateful. Our survival depends on you. However, you must admit that Johnny adds to the spice of our lives. We won't have to keep so many guests below for emergencies. And we shall be supplied with new vintages all the time. Young and pretty, you say? Charles, why don't we pay her a visit before we retire? After all, she is our guest. And besides, we must be sure to reward Mango. Isn't she, dear? Very. Shouldn't you reward Mango now, dear? She doesn't look as though she's going to last much longer anyway. Uh, tell Mango we appreciate him bringing the new one in. He can have uh, number four. your blood. My blood. What kind of things are you? Vampires. Vampires. Well, I know we may seem to be a novelty, but there are a few of us left. No. No, this isn't happening to me. It's a horrible nightmare. We are dramatically referred to as the living dead. be some sort of a joke. Please, tell me it's a joke. Unfortunately, my dear, it's true. We come alive at sunset and must drink the blood of a human before we retire at sunrise. When will you let me go? Oh, never, I'm afraid. We can't let you expose our little secret, now can we? Charles, the sun is about to rise. It is time for us to retire.
Hello, George. Hello, Johnny. I see you made it. Don't sound so disappointed. I assume you covered your tracks. Don't worry. They won't be looking for me. Not for a long time. Especially not here. Are you sure? I'm sure. How are things around here? Is Mango still custodian of the girls? Where else can he go? And our host and hostess. I suppose they're tucked away safely until uh, sundown? They're looking forward to seeing you again. No doubt. They probably miss my spicy methods of supplying them. We always have a source of supply from the guests downstairs. Yes, a supply, but limited. Think of the risks, George. A young girl disappears, the investigations. What happens if they trace one of the kidnappings back here? What are the Townsends going to do then? As long as I live, I shall see that that doesn't happen. You have a... Quite a loyalty to the Townsends, don't you, George? I have good reason to be. I understand the Count saved you from a necktie party one time. What did you do to get that mob so riled up? It was because of him, the great god Luna. The great god Luna, oh yes. You used to be in charge of sacrifices for him, didn't you? I mean, uh, him. They should be honored to die for him. To gain immortality, so the soul would live eternally in the kingdom of the greatest of all gods, Luna of the Moon. You talk like you knew him, like you saw him every day. Not like I see you. Not a solid body. If you were a believer, you'd understand that nothing really exists in solid form for long. Flesh is just a vessel to contain the spirit. The soul, if you prefer it, until we're released. So we all become part and parcel of the one we serve. Luna. Something happens to me when that damn moon is full. I do things I don't want to. It's almost like obeying an order from, from somewhere. I want to kill. I have to kill. <laughs> And all you want to do is serve up sacrifices to your old devil moon. You don't understand. You're just like those fools that tried to hang me. I understand this. But if that moronic giant mango picks up the wrong girl, it's not just your neck. They'll hang all of us. Don't worry. No one will suspect what goes on here at Falcon Rock Castle. Looks like a lovely weekend. I wonder how big Falcon Rock Castle is. Glenn! What's the matter, honey? Do you suppose our castle has a mo- Just give me strength, that's all I ask. Of course it does. Every castle has a moat, and I am going swimming in ours first thing. I love you dearly, dear, but you're stark raving mad. Why? Because no one in the history of civilization has ever gone swimming in a moat, that's why. It's utterly ridiculous. What do they use them for, then? Well, they're used for, uh... uh yeah? Well, repelling, uh, warriors and, uh, enemies and from the castle walls. Oh, I, I see. I, I'd look perfectly ridiculous swimming in a moat full of water. But uh, uh, you'd look perfectly sane standing on the ramparts with an iron helmet on your head, 
whopping Turks over the head with a mace. Guess I just wasn't thinking, that's all. Truce? <laughs> Truce. Oh, well. Maybe we'll just find a ghost or two. Like, uh, like Henry VIII. Or Bluebeard. Stalking his victims at night. Did one ever tell you to be so good looking you're pretty creepy? More than likely what we'll find is a nice old couple that we're gonna have to dispossess. Hmm. Sounds very dull. Hey. There it is. to speak to the Townsends, please. They are not available till after sunset. Would you like to wait? Uh, well, uh, perhaps you could show us around. The moat and things like that? Of course, madam. My pleasure. Thank you. This way. I just love this old castle. You know, there's, there's so many things I could do with it. Yeah, it sure could use a little color. You know, I was afraid you might find it a little uh, depressing. Oh, no, I love it. Hey, will you smile a little? Ah. We can live here, can't we? I mean, if I marry you. Well, I sure hate to tell the old couple they have to leave. What then? Welcome to Falcon Rock. I'm sorry we kept you waiting. I wish I'd known you were coming. Well, we tried to call, but uh, you were enlisted. We have no phone. Never felt the need. Somehow a telephone would be out of place at Falcon Rock. Yes, we sort of uh, like our privacy, you know. Oh, my goodness, yes. The outside world is so frightening today. What with motor cars, trains and planes and, and wars. Uh, why, a person could get killed out there. Uh, forgive my curiosity, but I... Uh... Well, we expected a much older couple. <laughs> well, now, Charles, isn't the young man gallant? And uh, his young friend here, so uh, robust. We must insist they stay for dinner. Well, what I mean is you have had the lease for 60 years, and, well, I expected a couple at least 90 years old. <laughs> well, my father had the same name. And when he passed away, I just forgot to renew the lease. <laughs> well, I guess old Uncle Thomas didn't mind as long as he got his annual check. <laughs> I suppose you'd want us to send the check to you directly from now on, huh? Well, uh, no. You see, we uh, are getting married and, uh, <laughs> well, we've decided to live here. 
Are you sure? This is hardly the place for a young couple. I picture you two in a vine-covered cottage, something cozy and intimate. <laughs> Liz has her heart set on living here. I really don't think you would like it here, my dear. No modern conveniences. Rats in the cellar, bats in the tower. Drafty and cold. No, you wouldn't like it here. Perhaps you want to sell. No, I'm afraid not. Liz has her mind made up, and whatever Liz wants, Liz gets. Mm. And she wants Falcon Rock Castle. <clears throat> uh, then they must stay overnight. Uh, we can decide how to handle the situation tomorrow. George, will you take our guests to their bedroom so that can freshen up for dinner? Very good, sir. Oh, thank you. If you will follow me, please. I'm sure Johnny will find a solution. Yes, he comes in handy once in a while. Mm -hmm. And then there was this character. He used to hold out his hand. And he'd ask me what was in it. And I'd say, an elephant. And then he'd say, what color? <laughs> It's so nice to have you back, Johnny. We've missed you. Oh, it's good to be back. I hated that place. Did you know that I was the only sane one there? Sane? How did you come to that conclusion? Or are you just being facetious? Well, you must admit I'm rational. I don't think I'm Napoleon. I don't see little green animals on the end of my bedpost. <laughs> How about your psychopathic desire to kill? Is that normal? Oh, well, we all have our little shortcomings, don't we? <laughs> Of course, I don't fight mine. Most people do. Because society says it's wrong. They develop conflicts within themselves. I don't fight my impulses. Therefore, I don't have any problems. Except when that damn moon is full. Sometimes I seem to lose my control over my power of reasoning. Johnny, I know you'll be a great credit to our way of life. George says that he used to be called Count Dracula. But I understand that he died over some years ago. There are some things better left unsaid, buried with the past. 300 years old. And you say you don't look any older than the day you were converted? That's amazing. It's the fountain of youth. Even modern science hasn't figured out how to stop the aging process. Stay with us, Johnny and you will never have to fear growing old or die. You mean I'll always be young looking and have the energy of youth? You must drink the blood of the young. That's the real secret. And the best is a rare type AB from young girls. That sounds like fun. I may even resort to stalking my victims and biting their necks as you used to do. Oh, no. Believe me, Johnny, this modern technique is much less strenuous and creates far less complications. Who knows? Someday someone might invent synthetic blood. And then we may even become law-abiding citizens again. Now that's something to look forward to. <laughs> In the meantime, we have a problem. Yes. The new owners of Falcon Rock will soon be joining us. They uh, want to live here. That does create a problem. Are you suggesting that I do away with them? Well, I wouldn't like to have to move, but how can we explain this sudden disappearance? I'll think of something. Come in, my dears. I want you to meet a very special friend of ours, Johnny Desmore. These are those nice people who are going to dispossess us. Glenn Cannon. Mr. Cannon? Oh, well, how do you do? And Liz Arden. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Martini? Please. Uh, same. Won't you sit down, my dear? You must do something very glamorous, like uh, be an actress? I'm on it. My fiance is a photographer. Oh, that's a good combination. You must lead a very exciting life. Johnny, 
Tell them how dull it is at Falcon Rock. I'm sure they'd both be extremely bored here. Oh, I doubt that. It's pretty hard to get bored with old Liz around. Well, it looks like we'll have to take a different approach if we want to talk the cannons out of taking over the castle. Well, maybe we'll think of something before the evening's over. I told him about the bats in the tower. And the rats in the cellar. I'd like to hear about the ghosts. Ghosts? Oh, I'm sure Bluebeard must have killed a wife or two. Well, this is a perfect setting for a murder. Yes, isn't it? Did you hear it? Yeah, Did you what? Hear it? That scream. Oh, it's probably just a noise like the wind in the trees or something. There's no wind. Oh, honey, you've been nervous all evening. It's just a strange bedroom. That's oh, all. Man. You know, that butler, he gives me the creeps. Yeah, well, I'll admit he probably wouldn't win a personality contest. And, and did you notice at dinner? that they served us wine out of a different bottle than the Townsend's? Well, I don't blame them. I wouldn't serve my wine to a guy who was about to dispossess me, either. <laughs> but did you also notice that they kept talking about all those things, and oh, I just... Oh, honey, come on, will you please? It's late. You see? You see, there it is again. Do, do you suppose someone's in trouble, Glenn? No, I don't. I think it's probably someone using an electric toothbrush that just got short-circuited, that's all. That's not very funny, Glenn. Well, aren't you going to do anything about it? I certainly am. Well, what? I am going to curl into the prenatal position, stick my thumb in my mouth, and pull the covers over my head. Glenn Cannon, that's not very funny. Didn't it ever occur to you that it might be a personal family argument? Women don't scream like that over a silly little spat. <laughs> Honey, I've heard women scream like that over a run in their stocking. <sighs> well, if you're not going to do anything about it, I'm just going okay. to have to... Okay. Okay, you win. I'll investigate. <clears throat> not without me, you won't. Well, you didn't think I was going down there alone, did you?
Gentle as a lamb. But but those screams down there, what were they? Screams? What screams? I didn't hear any screams. You must have heard them. It uh, sounded like a girl. Oh, you must have heard our toucan. A tropical bird like a parrot. Perhaps Mango forgot to cover its cage. Now, where are the Townsends? Well, they're retired. I assure you, there's nothing to be alarmed about. I, I, I guess we're just not used to these these old castles. Come, let me show you to your rooms.
up, Johnny? What are you doing up so early? The tractor ran out of gas. Enjoy your swim? Yeah, oh, water's yeah. great. These horses are beautiful. You like horses? I love them. I can't ride, though. I'd be glad to teach you. Would you? Say, that's a deal. He'll be our first house guest. Uh, where are the Townsends? Haven't you heard? They don't come down till late afternoon. Must be allergic to the sun or something. With all the noise around here last night, I'm surprised anyone got any sleep. Must be that damn bird and the dogs. You'll get used to it after you've been around for a while. I keep looking up at the sky. Expecting rain or something? Well, sometimes you can see the moon in the daytime. They're expecting a full moon tonight. Moon? <laughs> Maybe you need a night out on the town, Johnny. That was the plan. Except the Townsends are planning a dinner party in your honor, and I'm invited. Dinner party? Tonight? Well, I hadn't heard about it. As a matter of fact, we'd expected to leave this afternoon. But I don't think that'll be possible. The butler told me he was putting your car away last night. There was something wrong with the engine. He said something about the fuel line being broken. Fuel line? We called a mechanic. He'll be up here first thing in the morning. That, that means we're going to have to spend another night here, doesn't it? Uh, Liz here positively thrives on logic, had you noticed? <laughs> Say, you know, you've got a very interesting face. For a small fee, the old master will be glad to immortalize you on the celluloid. You don't mind, Mr. Cannon. I'd rather not. Well, it uh, certainly is a pleasure to meet someone with a normal ego. Yeah, now, you take old Liz here. If there's a camera within 300 yards, her... Uh, Good side just naturally turns toward it. <laughs> just like radar. Weirdest thing you've ever seen. But darling, I'm so photogenic. <laughs> yeah, I guess we better go check out the car. It's in the main garage. Oh, okay. Thanks. Ah. See you later. Say, Glenn. What? That bird we heard scream last night. What did he say it was? Uh, toucan. It's a beautiful bird with a large nose. Why don't we take a look at it? It's a good idea. That should be the door to the cellar, I think. of the Townsends. I'm Glenn Cannon, and this is my... This is fantastic. How did you get here? Thank God you're not one of them. I don't think I could stand much more. Please help me. This is terrible. What, what kind of people do a thing like this? Do something, Glenn. Nothing around here to pry these open with. How long have you been here? Two, three days. I don't know how long. My car ran out of gas. Giant brought me here. They they took blood from me. Blood. blood. Do something, Glenn. We've got to do something. I'll go see the Townsends. They're in there.
the verge of hysteria. Now, Liz, there is a perfectly sane and rational explanation for the whole thing. Let me hear it. Well, uh, they're vampires, that's all. What else? Oh, come on, Glenn. I I'm scared enough already. This is the 20th century. Yeah, well, I don't care if it's the 50th century. Blood, coffins, chain girls. Come on. Let's get out of here. Yeah. It's unfortunate you've discovered our little secret. We were saving it until dinner to surprise you. What kind of a madhouse is this anyway? Monsters, vampires, chain girls. Yes, I suppose it is a bit unusual. Unusual? Why, it's... Unusual to you, madam. To us, it's our way of life. Yeah, well, we're getting out of here right now. I'm afraid that's impossible, sir. I've had orders to detain you. Yeah? Well, you just try and stop me. Your car is out of commission. The dogs will tear you apart if you venture outside. And both Johnny and Mango would love an excuse to kill you. So I suggest you do not resist us. <laughs> it's pretty hopeless, doesn't it? for the sacrifice. It seems a pity. We shall have to prepare the youngest and the purest. The great god Luna will be pleased. <laughs> Stop that maniac. Well, that can be arranged. Say when you sign the castle over to us. You're gonna have your bloody castle. You let Liz go. I'm sure you understand it's impossible. However, you'll sign. Hey, why should I sign it over to you? You'll only kill us to keep us from talking. Oh, no. We'll keep you alive. We need your blood. Johnny, I think we should invite our guests for the sacrifice tonight. Certainly. And uh, in the meantime, I'll prepare the bill of sale. I'm sure Mr. Cannon won't give us any trouble when he sees what can happen to uh, his girlfriend here. That is your name, isn't it? You should feel very honored, my dear. Tonight is the night of the full moon, and we have chosen you to be a token sacrifice to the great moon god Luna, whom we worship. Sacrifice? What do you mean? What are you going to do? We can't spoil the anticipation of our guests. 
So you two shall have to wait and see. George. Johnny. See that our guests are dressed properly. Certainly, Colonel. <coughs> Can I watch the purification? At your age. Come, we must prepare ourselves. sacrifice, you can never be one of the eternal ones.
controller of our destinies. We offer this sacrifice in your great and divine name as a symbol of our loyal devotion and worship to your high eminence. May your guiding light of the nocturnal always reach across space and time. Be pleased to accept this our offering as a token of loyalty from your devoted followers. go to take the two girls to the cellar and please have him quiet those dogs and our friends here there'll be our guests for dinner then we shall sign the bill of sale for the castle it's getting late we shall have to rush through dinner george will serve us why should i sign falcon rock castle over to you you won't let us go oh no no i want to keep you alive you see i need your blood while you're alive you'll always have the hope of escaping yeah, but don't try, please. George and Johnny will only be too happy to kill you. And that would be such a waste. I have such interesting plans for you. After a sacrifice, we must have a banquet and drink a toast to the great god Luna. You see, uh, people like us are very much affected by the full moon. All of us are affected by the full moon. It affects our blood. We must satisfy our lustful desire. May I drink a toast? It's really wine, my dear. May I suggest a toast to the great god Luna? You cannot offend our god. You must join us in the toast. Anybody move? Sashes. Here. Keep them covered. Sit down and cross your hands. Charles, can't you do something about this? You know, you, you can't get away with that. No, no. Just watch me. That's it, Audrey. I'm going after him. Shoot if Mango comes back.
so worried about you. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just killed a butler. Now all we have to do is worry about Mango. Mango? Where's Mango? It's almost daylight. Mango won't be of much help to you now. Please release us. Immediately. Oh, you can't be serious. We'll pay you any price you ask. But please let us go. All right, so you can jump back into your coffin and we forget the whole thing ever happened? We must return. Yeah? If you don't, what happens? You must let us go back to our coffin. It will soon be too late. Not a chance. Sorry. several hundred years old. Must be the blood that's kept them this young. They're gone. Turned to dust. Thank you. 